Patrick Cafif does the round several times a day. Patrick is in charge of security at the French film archives, and he's on the hunt for his number one enemy, excessive heat and humidity. If we keep the temperature cold and humidity at around 35%, we'll be able to preserve the film reels for 400 years. The film archives were set up 40 years ago in a converted military bunker to the west of Paris. Its primary mission is to safely store thousands of kilometers of film negatives shot on nitrocellulose. Nitrocellulose film was banned in France in 1953 because it's extremely flammable. They're called flash films because at a certain temperature and humidity level, they can catch fire by themselves without putting a flame to them. 400 tons of nitrocellulose reels are stored here, along with other films shot on safer acetate or polyester negatives. In total, 100,000 works, some of which date back almost to the start of moving pictures. Many priceless works of art. We were able to find the original negative of The Grand Illusion by Jean Renoir that had been thought lost. It had been stolen during the war by the Germans. It had passed through Berlin and Moscow, and we finally found it in the Cinematheque collection in Toulouse. Some of the films hidden away can only be found here. It's a treasure trove for film buffs like Colleen, who's come all the way from America to research her doctorate on 1930s French cinema. I've just watched the film Dine of a Matisse by Jean Grémillon from 1931-32. You simply can't find it anywhere else. The French film archives also show off their precious hoard to the wider public. 2,000 of the films are screened in art house cinemas and festivals every year.